Now, Lego is one of the world's most profitable companies, a very far cry from 2004, when at that point it was losing a million dollars per day. But with a big company, though, also comes big responsibility. And part of that responsibility is guarding against overconfidence. But LEGO doesn't seem to be resting on its laurels. It's now set its sights on becoming China's number one toy brand. This is a country slated to be the world's biggest economy. We think, like many other people, half a billion people will move into urban areas over the next 10, 20 years. And that constitutes a very unique opportunity for growth. However, many companies have run into difficulties expanding into China, and LEGO is no exception. The toy company caused controversy recently when it initially refused to sell bricks en masse to dissident Chinese artist Ai Weiwei, with critics accusing LEGO of not wanting to wrongfoot the Chinese government. Here, the LEGO CEO explains the company's motives for initially refusing the artist's request. We've seen people building concentration camps out of LEGO and pictures of the Prophet Muhammad. And so we noticed a huge sensitivity to so-called uh, political topics. And in this case, uh, one of our staff members locally in Australia found that the purpose suggested by IYY was too sensitive. Uh, and so uh, the order was refused uh, and we later reviewed our policy and simply decided that for us to determine what's sensitive and what's political is too difficult. Politics aside, another challenge LEGO faces doing business in China is bridging cultural divides. A key part of LEGO's appeal for Western parents is its educational value. But in China, the concept of learning through play isn't so well established. LEGO is working to change attitudes, partnering with a leading Chinese university and funding studies focusing on the cognitive benefits of play. And as part of its broad strategy to win fans in China, LEGO has updated its product offering to include more Asian characters and settings. A ninja must always be training. Though it's not surprising, LEGO is carefully planning its China expansion. With sales in its core markets at record highs, it now needs to look further afield in search of growth. The stakes are high, which is why LEGO is taking care to build its China business on firm foundations. We'll have to wait, though, to see how awesome it ultimately can become.